it's not bad. He, he, you know he had a small injury back a few weeks ago and uh, that made us kind of change our plans a little bit about his training and about uh, about how, uh, how we would approach these championships and also of course the World Championships hopefully. Okay. We, we, we'll know that tomorrow. But um, uh, So he hasn't run, he's only run three or four races this year, very few races. Well, he ran Lausanne, he ran Nancy, and then he ran uh, in Australia in March, and now, of course, he ran today and yesterday. Uh, so, so, yeah. the, so, he's so the competition, the, the Korea, the Korea will be the third, will be the third victory after he recovered from the injury. Well, more than third, because you have to count. He'll probably also run, run one more race between now and the World Champions, oh, yeah. you know, in Europe. He'll probably, we'll probably enter him for one race just to just to get him, um, you know, keep him in touch. Because there's about five or six weeks between now and World Championships, so you can't be just sitting around, especially when you're fit. You have to go and do a couple of races in between just to keep it polished. Okay. You know, keep it uh, I'm writing a story about uh, that will be read by some of his young upcoming uh, uh, talents. So what can you say about this history so that then, which can be emulated by other upcoming? Well, I suppose now to many young people in Kenya, yeah. he's now a role model. You yeah. know, as a young man himself, uh -huh. you know, and uh, as somebody who has achieved something no Kenyan has ever achieved, uh -huh. one record, 800 meters. Uh -huh. That's not counting, of course, Wilson Kipchoge as being a Kenyan. Uh -huh. You know, running for Denmark. Uh -huh. Also, of course, becoming the first Kenyan to become world athlete of the year. Uh -huh. That is also something special. Uh -huh. And of course, um, the fact that uh, he's, um, you know, such a, an inspiration to our young people uh -huh. is fantastic. And I think people can see him as somebody they would like to imitate. Uh -huh. And I'm sure he will inspire a lot of young people now growing up to become athletes and to become, uh, you know, successful people like a person like he has become. So, um, I'm sure be still, also being a young man, we're hoping that he still will have a long career and of course that he will continue representing Kenya and uh, continue being a role model for young people and of course continue being somebody whom the country is proud of. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Victor. Victor and? is Daniel Otero. Daniel. Yes. Good.